Hey guys, it's Jade and today I'm going to make three videos for the business training. Just a quick overview of important things that I feel that everyone needs to know. Of course, we have a lot of detailed training, but I just want to quickly um, help the people that want uh, like a, a bit of training, but uh, you know, not too much and just not in five minutes. All right, so let's get started. Click next. Okay, so why doTERRA? You know, I don't know about you, but I don't know a lot of businesses out there or jobs out there that you can do five years, you know, full on your best and grow this wonderful business. Then, you know, you can retire your husband and yourself from your careers. All right, so this has been an amazing journey for my husband and I, and I want to share it with the rest of you. Okay, so one really great benefit, and there's tons, all right? One is it's low startup. You don't have to buy a shop or anything. It just, the cost of your initial order gets you in and gives you an ability to build this business right away. So that's awesome. And you just need to maintain an order every month of 100 points or more. How about that? Right? Nearly anyone and everyone can do this. All right, unlimited earning potential. So you can keep growing and growing and growing. Once you hit the top rank, you can have another rank and then keep going again and hit the top rank again. So you just keep on growing that business. I love that. Uh, you have quality products that are tested and proven and you know lots of scientific evidence behind it. And uh, you know this is amazing because you don't have to do it yourself. It's already done for you. doTERRA has wonderful service. Um, you'll find that out if you're still new. It has 65 retention, but 65 percent retention. That means all your efforts doesn't go to waste. Okay, so you share the oils with people. 65 percent of them will stay forever. So that's really amazing. Okay, compared to other businesses where they're only at 15 percent. They're consumable products. That means that you can help them use the products and then rebuy all the time. Okay, because you know, unlike you know your lifetime warranty pots and pans or whatever else that people sell, you know you have a product where people have to use and buy again and again. Okay, so you have customers returning. It's like going back to that grocery shop. It's like going back to you know in Australia it's Woolies to get your shampoo and conditioner. Now they get it from DoTerra and they that's a, a consumable product that they can use month after month okay so that's awesome because you get return customers the other thing is it's flexible time so if you have other things going on if you have kids and family all right this is a wonderful business for you to be able to be a great mama a great father and be able to build this business too and the wonderful thing I love is this is something that everyone can benefit from it's in demand the market demands it you've seen and uh, the commercials where people have all these drug commercials and you know there's a third of the kids in the US have some sort of learning disabilities that's scary okay and this is an international business before long if you're doing this consistently after about six months you'll find that your business goes international you'll be signing up somebody in another country you know it's gonna it's great and it's for everyone and it's online so it's very easy all right and um, you know accessible for everybody okay so that is just a sum of the many many benefits of doTERRA so in this three video series I'm going to talk about mindset skill set tool set they are what's needed for your success so want to get started <laughs> yeah let's go all right so part one is about mindset business mindset who you are inside all right so guys what is the most important ingredient in your doTERRA business it's belief okay belief now I will tell you why because belief all right creates thoughts and thoughts create feelings and feelings create actions and actions create results so if you're getting the results that you don't like okay so nothing's happening in my business then go back and back and back and back to beliefs because sometimes if you believe you can't do it you don't believe that you know you have enough time or you're worthy of success then your thoughts will be self-sabotaging and discouraging and you feel discouraged and then you don't act or you self-sabotage somehow. You get sick or you make excuses or you don't follow up with people and so they don't come to classes and then you don't grow the business. You see what I mean? Okay, so remember your inner world creates your outer world. Your inner world creates your outer world. So we want to help people be first, then do, then have. Be the successful person that you should be 
And then you, successful people do certain things, right? So you, then you do successful things, right? Rainmaking activities for your business, and then you have the success you need. So even though it doesn't look like it now, but under the surface, things are happening. That's what we want to teach people how to, you know, build this business. All right, so most of the people in the world think the opposite. That's why they're not successful. They think they have to have success. Show me the evidence. Let me see with my eyes. Okay, and then they can be successful, and then they can do successful things that people do, or have, do, be, whatever, however they do it, all muddled up. Okay, so we have to start from our inner world to create our outer world. All right, so that's what today's going to be like. All right, so we're going to have the first video on believing in yourself. And I had thought about this for a while. Basically, it boils down to believing that you are a child of God with great potential. Okay, as a mom, when I first held my child, my firstborn, in my arms, she didn't need to do anything. She didn't need to earn my love. She didn't need to prove herself. Okay, so she's worthy of greatness. And I see her potential. All right, so you are that for God. You are simply His. All right, so just give yourself that opportunity to absorb that, accept that, and forget about measuring yourself up to anything in the world, okay? Because you're enough for now. So, you know, our brains, we can think positive thoughts, we can think negative thoughts. And of course, if you look for positive things, you see positive things. If you look for negative things, you see negative things. But, you know, we have to work at being positive because being negative is easy. Right, everyone in the world um, can quickly find something negative about something, but it takes a lot of training to be positive. And I'll show you if you have one good positive thing happen to you and one negative thing, then you're actually depressed. If you have two positive things to every one uh, negative thing, then you're languishing. So if you have three positive things, you're actually moving forward. Okay, five positive things for every one negative thing. You're actually having, like, this is what is required for a successful marriage. You know, you're having a lot of success. Um, but you want to flourish. You want to flourish. So six positive things per one negative thing that happens. So you're going to be working really hard. You're laying it on thick and you're, you know, sharing a lot of positivity. That's why in my family, we try to not watch, um, you know, free-to-air TV and things like that. Um, you know, don't listen to the news and things in the morning, etc. Just keep our spirits up and say lots of positive things watching our our verbs and our you know language and then you know be be doing lots of affirmations and declarations to ourselves all right so the old um indian proverb of the two wolves fighting and the grandson says which one wins okay and the grandpa answers um you know the one that you feed Right, so you can feed your positive wolf or your negative wolf, whichever one you feed, that one will win. All right, so we want to feed the positivity. Okay, lots of positivity. A lot of our fears come from um, these negative emotions. So fear of the unknown, fear of being unsafe. All right, so we recognize that and then move through it anyways. So some of our fear emotions are pride, blame, hurt, offended worry, stress, lack of, lack of doubt, anger, stubbornness, hopelessness, competition. Okay, um, and a faith emotions, which is a positive emotions, a hope, unity, connected, uh, flexibility, flexible, creative, collaboration, protected, freedom, empowered, surrounder, um, open-minded and abundance. And I'll give you an example. We are in the friend making business, right? So if somebody says, hey, I like this and this and this and this, you find what it is that you have in common with them. You find a way to love them, okay? And you say, hey, that me too. But some of the people in the world, we're so used to comparing and contrasting. So we say, oh, you're like that, but I'm like this. But think about it, does that help you connect to that person and collaborate and, and work in unity mm -mm. okay it actually sh um, you know shows differences and it and kind of makes you compare and and compete a little bit okay so that's how the world works and that's automatic I watch that in people a lot okay so now you know you that are you aware you're gonna do it different I know 
Okay, so from the book um, Secrets of the Millionaire Mind, I want to help you reset some of the mindsets. So I'm going to go through these pretty quickly, but what I want you to do is write down your success, your money story, and then identify what it is that you need to change. Okay, so to cure excusitis, you know, we have to take action. Okay, and that's a serious disease. Okay, <laughs> um, so there's a mindset for success here. The first one is, um, you know, we're talking about all these positive mindsets. Okay, the first one for rich and successful people believe that I can create my life. The poor people believe life happens to me. They are the victims. They can't help it. This happens, this happens. Um, so we want to be proactive. So tell yourself, I'm going to be pro proactive. I choose to create my life. And, um, you know, you give away or you stop blaming and making excuses because they give away your power. So if you are one to say, okay, I'm this person, I'm this and this and this, this is what happened, this is why I can't, then, you know, take smell clove, ginger, HD, clear, forgive, and then reset your mind. Okay, so belief number two is, you know, the rich and successful people, they play the money game to win. The poor people play the money game to lose, not to lose, not to lose. So, okay, and it's because they're saying, I'm not losing, I'm trying to not lose, I'm not trying to not fail. They're actually telling their mind, fail or lose. Okay, or like we have, um, uh, you know, save money for a rainy day. It's like us telling ourselves, rainy day is going to happen. Instead, we say, save money for opportunities. You know, so little things like that makes a huge difference because that's your belief. And then when you see the results that you are not happy with, then go back to the belief. Okay, no use making excuses because it doesn't fix anything. Okay, fixing things permanently is at the belief part. Okay, so choose and decide now to succeed and win. I choose and decide now that I'm going to win. I don't have plan B at all. Okay, that's how I felt when I first started this business. So these su successful people are committed to being rich and poor people just want to be rich. I decided that if when I'm rich or, you know, when I was starting out, I'm saying I'll be able to do more things. I'll be able to accomplish more things. I'll be, you know, and I'm that person. So right away, I try to serve more. I try to do more. And then, of course, when you're that person, you get more abundance, okay? So a better steward for God's gifts and um, blessings. Okay, so be committed, right? Don't just want it. Imagine yourself, what are you gonna do? How good of a steward are you gonna be? All right, and you feel that liberation. You feel the satisfaction already. Okay, if you don't, smell passion, ginger, coriander, balance, and get your mind to think that way, okay? And accept that new mindset. Number four, okay. Successful people think big, poor people think small. Okay, so if I make a trip over to where you are, right, I made a big effort, right? And if people are that are local, that are half an hour, that are two hours away, and they want to come but they have all these excuses, you know, what other excuses are they going to come up with to fail, right? So those two hours, they're smaller than those two hours, right? So, you know, if I say, look, I have a class in Sydney, and it used to be seven hours drive from me, you know, I'll be there, I'll make it happen, right? So if people come up to me with lots of excuses, the first thing I say, think to them, to myself is, they feel smaller than their problems. We're bigger than our problems, guys, and we can do it with the help of God. So remember, if you have a calling on earth, right, and I, which I feel I do, which you should feel you do too, because everybody does, right? Then when you meet him again, you want to tell him that you've done your best, right? You've given it all you've got, and you didn't make the excuse. Okay, if you see uh, an obstacle, you overcome it. So the very first response would be, I can because. I'll somehow work this out because. When I ask people, you know, why don't you um, have a class, uh, you know, in the next couple of weeks, I can't because. And they'll find all the reasons because. And that's telling me, I want to fail. Right, and then it also helps me know that maybe I don't want to work with some people that are not as proactive. Okay, all right, right. So remember, God qualifies those He calls. Right, He'll give you the ability to do what you need to do. Okay, successful people focus on opportunities. Poor people focus on obstacles. I can't because remember. All right, and so focus on what grows. Um, I guess sorry, I said again, what you focus on grows. 
So if you track your success, if you track your team, if you track your muscles, you track your, your running speed and everything, everything that you track grows. Um, team members, uh, you know, if they play sports, if you don't track anything, you, you can't see progression, right? So track, all right, and focus on opportunities. Okay, so if you see something that's, ooh, it's a trial, it's new, see that as a learning opportunity. Let's do it, let's go for it. Okay, so wild orange, peppermint, elevation are those oils to help you think in this way because there is a solution for everything. That's what I feel. All right, and you read those stories. If you don't see it, read motivational stories where people, you know, seem to overcome the impossible. All right, then you can build that faith. All right, belief number six, rich and successful people. Admire rich and successful people. Poor people resent and judge them. All right, so in your subconscious mind, your subconscious mind would never, ever, ever let you be rich and successful because you fear what people will say to you because you've said to those people, right? So if we stop judging, right, we're not going to be afraid of other people judging us, you see? So bless and praise them and, you know, send them lots of love. Okay, I'm so happy for you that God has blessed you so abundantly because you must be so righteous somehow, all right? Somehow, you, uh, you know, God thinks you're a great steward, so go for it. Because then when you become rich and have lots of things to be a steward over, you will feel good because people will praise and love and, you know, respect you, all right? Okay, so oils to help you get that new mindset in your mind is black pepper, cardamom, whisper, forgive, serenity, geranium, rose, and ylang ylang. So God is fair, remember, and love you as equally as everybody else. Okay, number seven, um, rich and successful people associate with positive and successful people. Okay, the poor people associate with negative, unsuccessful people. So if you're looking around and some of your friends are unsuccessful and negative, it says a little bit about you. So we need to find friends that are more positive and learn to be proactive and develop those attitudes, okay? So marjoram, cedarwood, geranium, and vetiver will help you um, connect more with those more positive people, okay? Because it's safe, you know, tell yourself it's safe to, to make the friends with these people, okay? Don't feel inferior because we're all equal. All right. So be willing to promote, uh, successful people are willing to promote themselves. And the poor people think negativity, negatively about share, selling and promotion. So if you hear people say, I'm not a salesperson, okay, that them is telling you that they judge salespeople, okay? Because salespeople, what really, um, you know, you're worried about people thinking that you're manipulative or you're... Um, untrustworthy and you, you know you're somehow awful so they are judging those um, sales people that way so what I'd like to do is just think you know a really good salesperson is not desperate they are great educators because if I walk into a store and I want to buy a washer and I did this a couple of years ago I want somebody to tell me exactly what this washer does compared to this washer so I can make an informed decision right if somebody can tell you all the benefits and all the benefits of this one and then all the negatives and all the negatives then I can make a decision then they're a great salesperson but I will be so disappointed if somebody says well I don't know which one do you want I'm like I don't know what I want tell me what I want right so that's what we're doing we're giving people education and you know just information so that they can judge for themselves and choose for themselves Okay, so essential oils that you need for that is citrus bliss, wild orange, tangerine, clary sage, and passion. Okay, love and accept your gifts. Whatever the gifts are that you have, whatever it is, just tiny even, um, you know, you maximize that even if you have just the one talent, you know, do it well. Do it the best you can and just go for it. Okay, don't have to be the best of the best of the best of the world, doesn't matter. Okay, just use what you have. We need plenty of singers, we need plenty of whatever in the world so go for it okay what you have is good enough all right so the successful people are bigger than their problems the poor people are smaller than the problems we mentioned that before okay so you're not going to allow you know distance or time or whatever you know the uh, the excuses just keep coming we can make up so many excuses but once you decide that you're bigger than your problems then hey you find solutions and then 
things start working for you. So Helichrysum Birch, Cassia, Clove, Ginger, Terra Shield and Motivate are fantastic oils. And say to yourself, I allow myself to see how I can overcome anything. I choose to have courage. Okay. All right. So mindset number 10 is successful people are excellent receivers. Poor people are poor receivers. So if people say, hey, you're awesome, you say, thank you. Okay. Thank you. You don't go, no, 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 you are. No, because if we don't receive the love and praise and don't accept it, it's uh, really hard for us to receive blessings. And we want blessings from God, okay? And if you are a parent and you give somebody something, or you're a friend, you give somebody something, and they say, no, 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 right? You feel like your uh, you know, gift was um, disrespected, wasn't used, it wasn't received well, right? And it makes the giver unable to give you more, right? So we want to keep it coming. So rose, geranium, and serenity. Ah, bless me more, thank you, okay? So receive more, praise more, and you know, just allow yourself to, to enjoy it, okay? The way that you would like out your children to enjoy it. Okay, so rich and successful people get paid based on results. Poor people choose to get paid on time. Okay, so we exchange our time with money at $10 an hour, $20 an hour, whatever it is. Okay, that's not how we want to think anymore. We want to think results. So I have people that uh, sign, uh, signed up, started doing the business a couple of months. They've got a couple of people under them. They're spending hours and hours with their teammates. And usually we attract people that are really easy to get, um, like our moms or aunties or people or cousins and our friends. And then, you know, you spend so many hours with them and you only earn this much. And then people say, hey Jade, I'm earning pennies. And I'm thinking, yes, but think of a big picture. And we'll talk about the big picture later in number two or three video. But um, this is what I mean. You hold on, you stay on track and keep consistently working. And then you are able to see that you're building this pipeline. So you can say to yourself, I see my great worth. Okay, because you have great worth. <laughs> and so what you're building is much, much more than just what you're earning right now today. Every doTERRA member is worth about $2,000, okay, over the course of a year. So you never know how much they're going to buy in the future once they get it, um, you know, square it away in their head, how beneficial these oils are, right? And from those people, you're going to have builders. So you might have a future diamond there. You never know. So just keep your eyes focused on the potential. Okay, and no short-term um, visions. All right, 12 here, it says successful people, rich and successful people think both. Poor people think either or. Okay, I wanna be a great mom, but I wanna be a great wife. And then I also wanna be a great businesswoman that is serving God, all right? So I can have it all, and you can have it all too. Okay, it doesn't have to be either or, right? The way I organize my life, I can have it all. All right, and so I don't have to play small. I don't have to give my kids itty bitty bitty. You know, if they want to, you know, learn about presidents more, I, t I took them to Washington DC, you know, to the capital to learn more. We took our kids when we were in Australia, we took them to, you know, Canberra, so, you know, etc. So, you know, I have the ability to do that because I think both, okay, instead of, oh, you know, so anyways, if other people have, you have to think, I can have too. Instead of, oh, she has, then I can't. Okay, they have a big team that I can't. Or, you know, they've used up all this resource. No, we can have both. Okay, that's the abundant mentality. So you can say to yourself, I am a beloved daughter or son of God, and I can have it all. So wild orange, cheer, elevation, tangerine, and abivite will be your oils for having it all. All right, so number 13, um, successful people focus on net worth and poor people focus on income. Net worth is important uh, because that's your liquid and your non-liquid assets and things, and which will bring more revenues. But working income is sort of like being paid for the hour, right? Um, you know, sometimes you earn a lot, but you spend a lot too, and you have more debts, and then it doesn't say very much, okay? So you're not being rich, okay? Uh, so say to yourself, I have the golden touch. Everything I touch 
brings in money and that's awesome because our family is experiencing a lot of that the more we think this way so coriander and fennel will be your oil just to help you see that I can be responsible for being abundant all right 14 okay guys this 17 all together okay uh, so rich and successful people manage their money well okay poor people manage, mismanage their money well so even if you have a little bit you know put it as set um, manage your your money properly set a certain amount aside for charity certain amount aside for um, savings certain amount aside for your spending and you know etc and just and there's lots uh, more about how to manage we won't go into it today but just think about that okay um, so if we fail to plan then we're planning to fail it's just the default of the world you know they're like the negativity if you don't for force yourself to think all positive thoughts really hard then um, you know the negativity will come anyways so ignorance is a poor excuse so we have God given intelligence and abilities to manage what we've been given okay so if we manage a teeny tiny little bit well we will be given more to manage okay so lemon oil and intune oil will help you be able to wrap your head around things and manage well number 15 um, is rich and successful people have their money working hard for them and poor people have work hard for their money so again what we're doing in this business is leveraging leveraging everything okay our abilities we have team members we leverage our um, organizational skills everything everything adds up okay so um, you know to get out of that nine to five job you know you need to think bigger than that okay so use Immortel and Douglas fir Immortel helps you have spiritual foresight far beyond what we can see physically here and Douglas fir helps you break the chains of um, old thinking okay because you can have the life that you want to have and desire to have so number 16 is rich and successful people act in spite of fear and poor people let fear stop them so remember earlier we talked about fear okay so you know fear is just this emotion that's come from these thoughts that's come from a belief you know push through it anyways change that belief and do it anyways and you find that things will be much better um, so juniper berry and sandalwood will help you push through that fear okay so David Schwartz said that the cure to fear is action and that's exactly what I experienced. Some days I get so nervous when I first started that I have tummy aches and I'm just, you know, bending over, just holding my tummy and trying to breathe because I'm like, oh, I have people coming to my class. I hope I do well. You know, I hope I know what to say. Um, you know, you have to start somewhere and it's uncomfortable at first. Anything new is uncomfortable, but you get over it and you can become really good eventually. Okay, so the last thing here. Is about humility and humility only means um, being open to change and learning okay it doesn't mean poor okay so number 17 is rich and successful people constantly learn and grow and poor people think they already know okay so if you don't already have a book list here's some books to um, to start with okay my husband and I have you know new books that we want to read all the time it's a non-ending list but after we get one book we talk about it we learn and we incorporate and then we move on to the next so secrets of the millionaire mind by T Harv Ecker is awesome uh, the slight edge by Jeff Olson wonderful um, the magic of thinking big this is easy to understand by David Swatch doTERRA has this book here on your website so you can order this one for laws of financial prosperity very good and easy book to read how to win friends and influence people by Dale Carnegie sometimes it just needs to be said and you know sometimes it's not common sense how to make friends so have a look at those books and learn and study them guys so this is the slight edge. If you don't know this here, then um, be familiar with it. But Jeff Olson says that everything starts with discomfort. So you, you become a little bit uncomfortable at first because you're outside your comfort zone. But slowly, the more you do it, the more you get used to it and it becomes easier and easier. And then, you know, things get so easy that it just keeps going. So that philosophy he's talking about is your belief. Okay, the attitude there is about your feelings. 
And of course, that leads to actions, and actions lead to results, and results lead lead to a lifestyle, which is like a culture. You created a culture of success, so that becomes a success in finance, health, business, personal development, and relationships. You've met people that that seem to have it all, right? Okay, because they understand this. Okay, so that's how it was for us. You know, now we have a healthier body. We have a greater, even greater relationship with each other, my husband and I and our children. And we have greater finances and greater freedom. And, you know, we feel like better people too. Okay, so you can have it all, guys. But people that are afraid of going outside their comfort zone and be a little bit uncomfortable, guess what? You're going to be uncomfortable anyway, sooner or later. Okay, and over time, the gap between those successful people and you are greater. And then so your discomfort will be even more so. And it will just keep going. So the good thing about this is anytime you feel like, ooh, you know what, I should just get started with the uncomfortable side and then comfortable later, you can start anytime. Okay, if you mess up, you go back up again. All right, so are you making progress every day? If not, go back to that philosophy or that belief and then find out what you can do to be different. Okay, so guys, comfort is the enemy of achievement. Okay, it's overrated. You know, a little bit of discomfort and then you make it through and you feel so rewarded and you feel super happy because there's an opposition to all things, right? So if you have to be a little bit uncomfortable, then whoa, really happy. You know, when I gave myself an opportunity to be very uncomfortable, you know, going out of my comfort zone, and then when I succeeded, it was like, awesome. Okay, so this is what we're trying to, t to teach everybody. So step outside the comfort zone a little bit because that's where the magic happens. And as a school teacher, I want to share with you this so you can understand really well. Um, the comfort zone is where you're at. Okay, you know, um, you know how to do certain things, but right outside your comfort zone, there's a little bit of a challenge. But you grow. That's your instructional zone. So if you're a level 10 student and you, I want you to get to level 11, I want to give you a level 11 book to read. Okay, I won't give you a level 20 because that will be frustrational level, and then you'll give up. Right, so we are afraid of going outside our, our comfort zone because we're afraid of being frustrated. But we don't have to be that afraid because we're only going outside a little teeny bit. Okay, so whatever your comfort zone is, is a little teeny bit outside that. And that's your instructional zone. Does that make sense? And over time, your instructional zone will grow and then we'll have to challenge you some more, get you up to level 12, get you up to level 13, etc. Okay, and then that comfort zone grows. Okay, and guess what? That comfort zone is equal to your financial capacity. So if you have itty bitty small comfort zone, you have itty bitty small financial capacity. So grow your comfort zone, guys. Just grow it. You know, push yourself a little bit, push yourself a little bit until you feel like, oh, and your financial capacity will grow too. Okay, so remember the biggest downfall is the lack of faith, the lack of belief that people have. So sometimes people just do a little bit and then they, they get so discouraged before the momentum happens and you know they allow themselves and situations to get in their way and say, oh, it doesn't work anyways. Okay, it's not, if you think about it, it just doesn't make sense. If you are seriously a bit going to build a business, you open a shop, a couple of months later, not a lot of customers know about you or come into your store or buy your products, and do you just give up? No, most businesses stay in business as long as they can, you know, because they never know when it starts picking up. Same thing with you, just do everything one class at a time, one friend at a time, all right, and build your skills. Okay, don't blame other people, get yourself all, you know, fixed up in here. Be the person you want to be and then you attract those people okay and I learned that over and over and over when something happens I'm thinking okay what's happening inside so decide now I am a successful person and nothing gets in my way so be willing to pay the price read books where they have all these amazing inspirational people they paid a price everybody does so you do too if you want to be successful, you pay the price. And sometimes it means you have to pick and choose from good, better, best. And if I want to be a great mom, I have to just pick the best thing to do with my children. I just have to apologize for not being able to do the other things for now, right? While I build this pipeline so that now, now later on, I get to do as much as I can with them, right? With the financial ability, with the time 
um, you know, freedom to do that, you see? So a lot of people don't know if, what they can get rid of and they won't pay that price, right? And they say, no, 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 I have to be there 24 seven and, you know, be there for everything. You know, every little play, every little award, I must be there for them. But guess what? You paid that price over here, you pay a price over here later. Okay, so what do you want more? Okay, so it is not easy sometimes and not convenient, but do it anyways and you'll thank yourself. Okay, it's worth it. You know, some people think that um, success and failure are two different directions. You know, they want to be sure that they'll succeed. But you know what, that's not true. So success and failure is in the same um, direction. So, you know, you will do your best, but then some days you mess up a little bit. And with a good mentor, you'll get back on track and, you know, you'll be able to keep going. And over and over, I don't know anybody that's successful without falling on their face a few times. <laughs> so think of Steve Jobs. Think of all of these big uh, names out there. You know, McDonald's and KFC and all those big businesses. They're massive now. And it's not like they never had um, any you know, obstacles in their way, right? So allow yourself that too. And one really important thing that I feel I can help people with is to help them understand the momentum theorem. And this is focused intensity over time multiplied by God equals unstoppable momentum. So that means you tap into God's power to help you be successful. That was me. Everywhere I went, I said, you may God, you, we do it. And, you know, make your goals, write it down. And in my mind, I'm like sending it up to heaven. This is what I want. Okay. And you must own it. This is something that you must want, not your upline. Okay. Not your husband. You must want it. Make it measurable. Have a deadline. Silver by convention. You know, whatever it is that you're your plan is and plan to celebrate at the end so you know I'm gonna go to a Japanese restaurant and I'm going to da -da 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 -da. plan that success as if it's already here all right and then of course mind of a matter matter of a mind so you take action now because the longer you wait you're going to extend the time and open up opportunities to make excuses and to let things in that uh, don't need to be in okay um, so as you take actions, you get some, some confidence and then build on that confidence by taking more actions. And then those actions help you build that confidence and just keep going. So good experiences, bad experience, and then the good will outweigh. And over time, you'll have a strong belief. But you can't have that belief unless you have those experiences. And it comes with practice. Okay, so mind of a matter. The matter of a mind. Believe, but then do to solidify that belief. Okay, so that's how we work as humans. All right, so this is it, and we're going to start on part two next. Okay, guys, welcome to part two business skill set. Okay, so we have talked about the mindset of being the successful person inside because you are not going to be able to you know, fully go ahead and use all the skills or do the other things if we don't have the mindset down. So make sure you work on that mindset. Okay, at the same time, let's do something about this. Okay, so the skill set is the how, what you do, right? So doTERRA is a business that you need to work at in, for the long term. Okay, be committed for the long term, just like any business. You can't just drop out after three months and think, oh, I didn't work. Of course it doesn't work, right? But for me, I'm so grateful that I kept at it for five years and I was very consistent and then I was able to retire myself and my husband too. So that is amazing. Do you know any jobs that you can do that in? Mm, no. And, you know, we give ourselves, every time we rank advance, we give ourselves a pay rise, a doubling of your pay. So that's awesome. So from silver to gold, gold to platinum, you know, your, your pay doubles. So that's awesome. Now, something you can physically do, all right, with your skills is to have classes, classes, classes. Do classes so well, do at least 25 to help you feel confident okay and then after that it's just gonna be great but don't expect to feel confident before then all right just keep working at it it may be uncomfortable at first but just keep doing it all right so schedule classes a month two months three months in ahead of time set goals plan and then execute all right you want to do stuff that's very very easy it's easy not to do as well 
okay it's like packing your bags like setting up setting goals or like setting up classes okay so remember things can be easy to do and things um, that are easy not to do and um, that makes the difference between the winner and the losers okay so you say okay but I don't feel too good I won't do a class this week that's easy to do um, you know easy not to do too so be careful okay uh, carry samples with you all right put those little samples in your bag carry your business cards with you and carry flyers so we have this little half page flyers that we carry with us so when you're talking to people share the sample with them hey why don't you come to my doTERRA class okay you don't throw up on people and teach them everything doTERRA right here and now because you've shared a sample with them it doesn't work that way people are not in the right mindset so I was traveling and I met a guy um, <clears throat> this old gentleman and he was in the paper business and he decided to educate me about paper and so I was on the computer working and he said hey you're, you've got internet go, go go to this website do this I'll educate you he actually said those words I wasn't in the mindset to learn so neither will your friends be if they go ooh that's interesting it doesn't say hey why don't you teach me everything about everything about essential oils no <laughs> save it and say hey come to these classes but you are ready to share with them the information okay they'll look at the classes and say oh that's interesting oh I didn't know it oils can do that I'm interested in this one class and this one class okay and that's how we do the business all right so flyers excellent very important carry it with you so check your bag make sure your bags have samples all the time okay so here I am with my bag got my samples got my samples got toothpaste and got a little mini reference guide I had uh, modern essential books but I ran out so I got some of all these doesn't matter just a mini reference guide that you can just talk to them go through it with them and maybe give it to them okay you want to attend meetings and trainings so even though your mind is still developing this belief you can still attend meetings physically and attend trainings okay and do that okay so action guys now um, when you talk to people try really hard to connect to people by telling your story okay so whatever you've got a whole bunch of stories and keep collecting the stories and experiences and so people struggle with arthritic problems I say hey in my mind in my files I have an arthritic story because I were had an arthritis okay so I'll share with that person I connect with that person because anytime we make friends we're trying to make a connection of something common okay if I talk to moms I'm not going to tell them about the arthritis I'm going to tell them about my kids things that I did with my kids right because they're moms you see what I mean so you share your struggles you share your success and then share your sight so say guys I had this one problem and then I found a solution with essential oils and you share that story and then you share what you're doing with this and here on out from now on this is what I do and so they see that vision they catch that vision they see the cause and the purpose of what you do why you're doing it and they see that it's beyond just making money okay and that's really really important so that's a tip for you okay so that you have this wonderful uh, skill set so work on that skill okay the other skill set is to organize your life so a lot of people especially moms have a ton of things their kids are in so many things okay band and karate and soccer and all these things great stuff okay we can delegate some of that or you know we can say look can you guys just do one thing every term because this is important for me to build because if I put a couple of years into this or our family will be really good off okay so we don't continue to struggle for the last 20 years all right this is just been like that and hasn't changed so something has to change so I have to do some sort of sacrifice and and you know so basically you have things that are urgent things are important things are not important so you have to kind of put them in all these boxes and then you can start eliminating so ask yourself okay so my crocheting club is it important is it urgent okay <laughs> maybe maybe not okay can I eliminate it yes I can because right now I need to focus on building this you know business okay so it's gonna be in quadrant four I'm gonna to toss it out a little bit maybe it'll just be great for me to do a little bit at home for my sake for whatever you know it's up to you you have your reasons but if you can put your things in these quadrants okay if it's important and urgent do it now all right and you know you want to schedule a lot of things so that you don't have to do it now you do it when you need to do it so that it doesn't become too urgent okay so you live there in quadrant two a lot so you're not fighting fire with fire if you're fighting fire with fire all the time you're not working very well in planning ahead okay 
and then if it's sort of urgent and unimportant um, then delegate it okay so for me one quick example of this and that it can be anything um, so somebody says hey I'm very skeptical you show shared that oil with me but show me some research okay so I, I delegate I send them to websites done if they don't go to those websites ah it's not my problem right because if they are decided against the oils already I'm not gonna go there it seems urgent that maybe this is a potential person but you know what it's not okay so I don't have to do that I have a lot of team members that I can work with with my time so if they don't want to put that effort forth why should I okay because I've already decided against it you see what I mean so then I have a lot of time to spare for my teammates got it okay so because you've decided what is most important what is urgent what you want to do with your life then you want to put it in a weekly time block and these weekly time blocks you can honor it and you know stick with it as much as you can and maybe you need to adjust it after a while that's okay adjust it um, but you know for me I, I just adjust it but you know it's generally the same things over and over I tweak a tiny bit when my kids are in school when my kids are out of school things still look almost the same okay and this way you're consistent okay so if you're doing doTERRA part-time you need at least 10 hours sometimes people think 10 hours but they don't do anything okay or they don't do 10 hours worth and expect their business to grow okay if they don't give that time they're not gonna find solutions and things okay I know who does and who doesn't just by the results guys um, so you show yourself how much devotion you have okay so of course in the morning and in the evening I do devotional so I pray I read my scriptures and I meditate I do things that help build my spirituality because I don't need to um, you know have the negativity in my life it won't help me any right okay and then you block out things that are very important to you the very first things that are important my family I must have time with my family because like no success will ever compensate for the, the failure in the home right okay so I've got these family times blocked out this is the time that I can put my phone away so I apologize guys if you text me email me and I don't answer it's because I'm with my family um, and then okay you've got that down and then what other things are important next important so I've got church on Sunday so I must go to church because that builds my spirit fills my soul okay and then I have an opportunity to serve so I put a little block of time every week that I, it's a window for any opportunity for me to serve that way I know I can serve and that way I am not carving away at my family time carving away at anything else that's important in my life like my business okay so there's a little box there and people call me and I say hey I know a time that I can meet with you Thursday at 10 o'clock okay so Wednesday nights we have youth night at church so those are important then you can see hey look at all the other times that I can work out and I can do my doTERRA business so this is me now um, but in the past I had to work and do other things so I carved out as much time as I could all right the best I could so you do what you can okay so with your doTERRA time make sure you name that time this is the time that I teach classes this is the time that I do follow up or maximize your membership this is the time that I do online classes this is the time that I do social media for you guys that are new your most important thing right now is prospecting teaching classes and following up don't worry so much about the other things um, social media is great do it the best you can forward on information mention things online but you don't have to necessarily have you know huge content on your website yet you know use mine if you want to all right do your best to get the people in to get them interested in um, don't have to reinvent the wheel okay if I've done if I've done a blog and stuff on the topic that you're interested in then you can copy and paste it copy and paste the ideas and stuff into your stuff okay so to minimize that busyness and maximize the rain making activities because you want to spend a lot of your time talking to people meeting people enrolling people that's what you need to do now that's what I did I only started my website just recently because I had a, gathered up all this information in my head and I thought okay I have to have a way of like sharing the information and supporting my team okay so I my job for you my job is to support you okay and when you bring people on I will support you as you support your team okay so we work together in that way now guys if you can you want to batch 
so you batch um, your errands so you're not running into the store every day you batch what uh, errands you need you need to go to the bank you need to go to the post office you know that um, this is when you do it okay these are the times that you do it okay so that's a very good skill to have very important for the rest of your life okay so the other skill you want to develop is a teaching skill master the art of teaching teaching is an art and it improves every time I've taught hundreds of classes and I still feel like there's more I can do and I can improve more but first of all I'll just give you some tips first thing is visit and connect ask them questions like what are your names okay so say tell me this about yourself what's your name and I would ask people, hey, can you give me a mnemonic device to remember your name? Because I want to learn their name. So my name is Jade, um, mnemonic device, a green rock. Okay, got it. So they see a picture of a green rock in their mind. They remember that's Jade and that's me. Okay, and then you say, tell me about your essential oil experience. Some people say, I've got none. Um, I'm very new, which is great because then now you know how to help them. Some people say, oh, I've used oils for 20 years, blah, blah, blah. And then you say, ha, ah, that's good. And then, you know, you ask more so you get to know them. If you know who they are, what their needs are, guess what? You'll be able to meet their needs and you do very well. Okay, you're not, you're not talking and lecturing like a school teacher. You're not doing that. You're really helping them find solutions, okay, and giving them choices, okay? And then keep it simple so I have that hand there. You can download this um, handout on my website and it teaches you how to teach, okay, what to say. So every conversation you have, even if you are having lunch with a friend, you're like, mm, make sure I cover that and that and that and that and that, okay? And then do that within the first 15, 20 minutes and get it done. And then the next part of um, the conversation is magic. Just talking, 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 back and forth. They asking questions, they are finding solutions for themselves. Okay, you want to offer the membership early. So finger number five is about the membership. That's why we want to get early because then you want them to think about the membership, have time to move money around in their accounts or think about how they can apply it. Um, and uh, you know, think, okay, I can apply that, those oils into my life this way. Because now that I've joined, you kind know, of ideas, okay? And of course, remember to meet their needs. So now, skill set. What are the other skills that you need to develop, okay? Don't worry about, hey, I just joined, I don't know what to do. Um, because you are learning and growing as you grow this business. Okay, so number one, look at the skills that you have now, okay? So, what skills do you have already and then develop that more and use that skill so I can teach so I use my teaching skills some people do yoga and they can teach yoga and then say come on guys stay for another 15 minutes and I'll tell you more about essential oils okay um, the confidence comes from practice remember so you're not going to expect to be confident right away and do at least 25 classes and then decide whether you're confident or not okay by that time you wouldn't ask that question anymore okay number three is work uh, you know to improve these skills and I've made a list of these skills so you've got speaking skills listening skills planning skills organizing skills computer skills so I'll go back to speaking. Speaking skills, shorten your stories, get to the point, okay? Listening skills, sometimes they give you all sorts of information. You filter through and go, hey, I know what she needs. She needs to rest, okay? Or she, whatever it is, you hear what they really need, not what they're saying. Friend making skills, self-promotion skills, team tracking skills, leadership skills so you talk to your upline talk to your mentor about this and you develop these skills okay over time you'll be better at it okay so other skills is uh, friend making skills and feeling successful skill so bigger smile dress smarter stand taller lift up your head walk faster sit at the front eye contact um, speak up think creatively Okay, these are some of the skills that we work on over and over you know don't um, beat yourself up if you're not there yet most of us start at the beginning that's okay okay some people they've had lots of uh, you know experiences before and they're ahead it's okay all right everybody will grow so that guys is the conclusion of our skill set video and our next video is about business tools all right that's all from me bye Alright guys, now part three, 
business tool set. Okay, business tool set is about what you use. Okay, so you know that in our doTERRA business, we have a group of people that we talk to, all these people we talk to, and we invite them to learn. So when we're inviting them to learn, you can see that we use this introductory handout. So that's what you use to guide your teaching. So in the remember the hand, in your mind you have to remember what you're saying to them too. Okay, and go through that. And a bunch of these people will come and learn. Some of them will want to join. And the people that join you, there's 80% of your team is here. So you want to make sure you feed these guys right, you follow up with them, you make sure that they understand how to use the oils in their life. So when they join, I say to them, I say, you don't just get oils, you get me too, right? And I don't want you to waste your money and time um, learning about oils and buying oils. You know, I want you to be know how to use it properly. So when you get your oils, by this time next week, let's meet up, okay? So that I help you understand the oils and your membership, okay? To maximize your membership and know how to order properly, okay? So you create that expectation already, all right? And because you know you've got something very valuable, you know, the knowledge you have is very valuable that will benefit them. They don't know how powerful the oils are, what all they can do, all right? And I would feel so bad, you know, if somebody gave me oils without telling me what to do. Okay, so we have the maximized membership discussion with them, and that's what we use, and I'll tell you more about it. And then with these people, we teach them the five wellness classes. There's a lot of ways to teach them that. And of these people, they catch the vision, okay, they see the opportunity, they want to share too. So with those people, you teach them the share discussion and the business opportunity discussion and the mentoring. So we have videos on each one of these. I'm not going to go through it right now, but that is the whole uh, continuum, okay? So 20% of your team will be the sh uh, sharers and the builders. You want to spend 80% of your time with these 20% of the people, but you need to make sure you're not neglecting the 80% of the people. Okay, those people there need to be fed and be taken care of, and that's um, what uh, we do with social media and stuff. Okay, so I'll tell you more now. The Learn Group, you invite a whole bunch of people to your class, you use this handout. Okay, they can be your friends, your family, people on Facebook website, clubs, associations. If you don't have a lot of friends and if you use, oh, I don't know, people, excuse, then go out and join a club. Okay, there's lots of solutions. Okay, so these classes can be one-on-ones or just, you know, regular classes at home. You call it class and not uh, a party because it's really them learning about oils. So they have to be in the right learning mindset. If they're thinking they're going to come and have some drinks and some, um, you know, little hors d'oeuvres, then that's what they're expecting and they're not in the right mindset to learn how to use essential oils for their health. You want to weed those people out anyways. If they're not in there for that reason, they don't need to be there. Okay? Okay, so you're sharing samples at your classes, sharing stories, you know, sharing oil experience and inviting them to learn more and then inviting them to join doTERRA. Okay, so those are the people in that learn group. Okay. So what do you bring to a class? You bring the learn handout, your class in the box, which has the price list and the enrollment forms, of course, essential oils, water, diffuser, gifts for the hostess and the new members. You bring some samples for people that are gonna not buy and they just want to try, okay? And how do you invite? You have face-to-face, -face, hey guys, here's my flyer, come to these classes, okay? Of course, you've given them an oil experience already. Um, you know, I have online things that people can register for. That's really good um, because that way they RSVP. Send them text reminders and emails, of course. Ask for their health concerns. So you have an idea of how to support them. Okay, so that's your handout. Um, that's the class in the box. Um, and in the class in the box, they you can print that out from doTERRA.com. And it has the kit options, the price list, and the... Um, membership uh, options so they ha can choose from wholesale member or wellness advocate okay all, all that we can explain in details later ask me later for that okay and utilize Facebook guys uh, utilize the social media because sometimes you find friends on social media and things like that okay you can invite people on social media so there's lots of things you can do with social media okay so the user group that once they join for the first 60 days don't let them out of your sight. 
This is very important. It's true what they say, the fortune is in the follow-up. Okay, it's not just a fun saying. You know, if you really want to build your business right, you, you would do this. Okay, it's very important that you do this because I wouldn't like somebody to sign me up and just leave me alone and um, not give me any support. And so that's how you lose your team members and you wasted your time. Okay, so maximize the membership with them, have a discussion with them, say, I'm, you know, you're coming over to your house or you come over to my house and we'll go through it. The second page, you're actually writing down what they need to do with their oils. The first page, you teach them how to, um, you know, order and, um, you know, ask them how they want to participate in doTERRA, okay? And of course, you let them know that we have five wellness product classes. These classes are important because they are the foundation of good health. If they don't understand the holistic approach, then um, you know they're not going to get great results. So you know, help them host classes. So you want them to get up to 95% retention because you know, for, with two things, with an LRP and with one enrollment. Make sure all the team members have get on the new member emails because that way we can support them. You know, give them the maximized membership discussion. Send them the wellness product videos. Invite them to the wellness product classes. Give them newsletters. You know, we have newsletters. If they're not on our newsletter um, emails, just uh, send us their email and we'll put them on. Okay. And we are on this Facebook group. So with the Facebook group, uh, the user group, you put them on our user group so they can get updates. All right. Make sure they come to conventions and meetings. So that's how you support those people. If you're not doing that, don't expect your business to grow. Okay, so you know when you're doing that, it's gonna be easy for you to have people that's duplicating you. Okay, okay for the sharers and builders, first of all you want to have a share discussion with them. So the share discussion is about, you know, here is all the um, options of how you participate in DoTerra. You can be a casual sharer. There is a goal, and there are some commitments. So your communication is clear. They have an, a clear idea of what you are talking about, and you both have a clear um, goal. That you, you know, the first goal is casual sharing, 250 PV, right? So we'll talk about this in another video, guys. Look forward to that. Um, active sharers and um, making sharing your business. So these people know what is expected. That they need to carry samples. That they need to share the oils. That they need to, you know, share the flyers. That's what Facebook is for, you know, send out flyers and pass them on and have Facebook events, okay? That's what we do. And then when you have the discussion, they nominate what they want to do, then you know how to help them next. So say they want to do active sharing, then you can go over to the business opportunity and we have that um, booklet that you can go through with them and help them understand how to um, build that business right and how much money and potential that they're looking at. Okay, when they're really good and ready to go, you know, you can offer mentoring. Okay, so this is about, this is only 20% of your team, but you spend 80% of your time with them because they are the ones that are building the business. Okay, the other people that are using it, they're great, but to these are your leaders. Okay, so that's basically it. Now I'm going to just add one extra little thing for you guys. Um, so essential oil and health. You know, basically when you're teaching people about essential oils, you teach them that they, their body knows how to heal. That their cells, if they're clean, it can communicate clearly. Okay, they need to feed the cells with nutrients and supplements and they need to manage that emotion. Okay, and they have to be willing to change. They have to be willing to heal. Alrighty. So help people understand how the body works by entering the in talking about the systems. If they say, "Hey, um, I have high blood pressure, low blood pressure, whatever," you say, "Hey, that's the circulatory system." Okay, then these are the oils for the circulatory system. Okay? That way you can be compliant, but then help them see the big picture. Because sometimes people are caught up in the little minor details, in the special names for the disease. You know, oh, I have colitis. No, I have Crohn's. The other person has irritable bowel syndrome. What is all of that? That's all gut rot in one shape or form. Okay, clean out the gut. Okay, so that's your digestive system. Hey, here is how we clean it out and voila! You know, the labels go away because the group of symptoms that make the label go away. Okay, that's what it is. It's very simple, guys. The ultimate success is not what things we have, but the people whose lives we change. 
and I am so grateful and honored to be in this business to meet friends that I can be friends with for life and to change their life and to help them change. Um, it's changed my life too. So it makes my life more fulfilling. This is why I love doing this business because it's just so fun. It's fulfilling. Not that it's easy sometimes, but it's so worth it because you live this life and you want to ma maximize this opportunity that you have on earth. So what I helped you understand here, hopefully it helped you understand your mindset, how to set that mind and skill set and tool set because that will equal to success. Okay, so that's all from me, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. Okay, bye. Bye.